Sessions that we have, session that we have this morning, we have uh, allocated two and a half hours for this session on cloud and big data in Asia, and it's a good investment of time, I think, because of the amount of material that we're going to be covering and the, and the discussion that will be flowing from the, that uh, these presentations. Um, after Professor Marai kicks us off uh, with his initial discussion, looking at these issues from a Japanese perspective. Um, we have a very, very distinguished lineup of academics from around the region. Um, and we'll introduce each of them before they begin speaking, but I, I think it, it is remarkable that each and every one of them is playing a leading role in, in the way in which their governments are approaching these issues and the region is approaching these issues. So we absolutely have the right people in the room today to drive this discussion. And we also have expertise in terms of the international uh, governance of these issues. So I, I think that's another layer that will be great to explore. So uh, thank you, Professor Murai, uh, for allowing me to make those, those comments. And over to you. OK. Um, uh, good, good morning. Is this on? OK, good. Uh, good morning, everybody. And, um, Welcome to this uh, conference, and uh, on behalf of the, uh, the, uh, the Society Research Group, on behalf of the K University, on behalf of uh, Japan, I should say. But anyway, so uh, let me uh, introduce uh, you know, what I'm going to talk this morning. Uh, well, actually, the, obviously, the title was uh, nothing. Uh, Relative to uh, my talk. I'm sorry, I'm my side is not on the, uh, uh, on the your project. Uh, because uh, what I had done yesterday was uh, I called uh, my uh, government IT strategy office that uh, uh, where the IT strategy is uh, public comment, <coughs> which was done uh, three days ago uh, in Japan. And uh, where the English version of it? And uh, they said no. Um, Okay, so I kind of crowdsourced to Murai Lab uh, members. That, that is there anybody who can quickly translate the, that only the titles and I can explain the content. <laughs> so uh, it, can, can you do that? And then uh, you know many many students worked through uh, yesterday and then uh, they completed the entire titles and uh, so uh, check 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 and uh, with uh, some of the uh, native speaker check. So I hope I, I haven't seen it yet. Well, uh, I wrote that with a URL, it's open, and uh, then I uh, saw so, uh, in my responsibility, uh, of course. But uh, that is a uh, latter half, and, uh, which includes uh, very much of uh, uh, this issue, cloud, open data, big data, and uh, also uh, policy, privacy, and other, uh, of course, uh, policy issues, because uh, that's a Japanese government type of strategy. But before getting to that, then I uh, you know, probably uh, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, you know, what I felt about uh, this area of uh, uh, technology and the society uh, from my point of view because uh, uh, you know, uh, there, there is a lot of issues in there, uh, relating to uh, this one. So the kind of cloud impact uh, it is uh, uh, basically, of course, a cost, speed, service, scalability, and the globally distributed system, therefore the uh, issue 
issue of uh, data mobility and uh, that kind of things, and uh, you know, national border, regional border, global things, and uh, this was happened, and then of course optimizing resources and so uh, relating directly relating to a cost benefit. But you know, now those benefit was started in this country. Is there anybody yesterday who talked about this one? Huh? And how this started in this country. So because there are a lot of attempts. So if sorry if this is the overlap, but uh, you know this is what I know. Uh, the, the the impact, very strong impact uh, of the understanding about the cloud computing was introduced to this country, especially in the government sector, uh, by the introduction of the system called the Echo Point. And the Echo Point was introduced by the government, three ministries, and uh, in Japan. And uh, to push the kind of a green uh, uh, home appliance. And uh, so uh, they gave uh, basically the feedback, I mean, giving them money back. If you buy a, a green product, and uh, then it's so, uh, promoting the green product, and uh, then it change uh, your, your product, change your uh, air conditioner, then change your refrigerator, then change your TV for the eco version. And uh, then it's a kind of uh, encouraging, I mean, the e economy as well, right? And uh, also encouraging the green thing. And uh, so that's called the Eco Point. And uh, uh, on May 1st, 2009, the Japanese government uh, planned this uh, for the various reasons, including the digital TV transition thing, and, uh, which was very successful. Anyway. But, but the, the point is not there. Uh, so uh, uh, they did a uh, Call for proposal on the system on the promoting a green uh, echo point system on a May 1st. Okay? That was a suddenly proposed. And uh, then they know. Because uh, in, during the inside the May time frame, they knew that the new government temporary budget was it would be passed on the diet. So that was expected. Therefore, they did that. So they wanted to utilize that money, right? And uh, obviously, and then so uh, uh, the, this proposal includes the system development as well as operation of the system. Okay. So um, the amazing story, I mean, date, I'm not. On the May first was a call for proposal, and the, then on May 9, Budget was approved as expected, and then June first, one month later, then they know, uh, promotion council, so-called green appliance promotion consortium. This this is the question of the company uh, won the bid, so it's uh, already decided after the one month. Right? So uh, it's a kind of uh, you know, uh, rule to wait for one month and then they make a decision. So uh, this group. Uh, start to take to the, you know, the kind of system development and other kind of things. So this is a JPG. Echo Point is uh, everybody in Japan. If you are if Japanese, then uh, you have uh, on the system. So every population is on the system. We don't have uh, such a system yet. Right? I mean, the, every, we don't have uh, you know, the, the personal ID system yet. We don't have uh, you know, tax ID system yet. And therefore, we don't have one. Uh, not single one, but so probably this is the first one. Echo point system for everybody. And uh, then, uh, uh, the, then uh, suddenly JPG, after 12 days, JPG announced to the system starting on uh, July 1st. And uh, then on uh, July 1st, the operation started. So amazing speed since uh, May 1st, call for proposal, and the operation started within, within the, you know, well, actually, within a month. So that one of the weekly diamonds said the system was developed within one month and the cost was 0 0.6 billion yen when the expected cost was 30 billion yen. So the cost impact and the speed impact was approved and then known to everybody. This is a page. If you look at the URL very carefully, if you can see that from the back, I can read it for you. EchoPoints.secure.force.com. Okay, that was uh, Salesforce took the.
the operation service. American company later was in America in the old Japanese domestic government operation. And uh, then you know, everybody was uh, amazed. And the Japanese whole IT industry was kind of worried about it, afraid of it. They immediately took action and uh, started to work on the uh, cloud. So this is a very stark story. So now, the big data and the, um, the open data, and uh, so I'm going to explain about these two words. Uh, but anyway, so the um, well, the K University and the White project, my 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 project has been working on the internet farm, uh, which was uh, basically the concept with uh, when the data is uh, attached with the location and the uh, time. This is a this is when the real space is going to be merging with the virtual space, right? real space and the virtual space, uh, with the virtual there, data is on the virtual space. And the time and the location information, if they are binding, linking to the data, this is not the virtual space anymore. This is the real space. So this is a big data space. Right? And then, so uh, this uh, uh, concept was, uh, studied in the uh, early 90s in the K University, uh, and uh, then putting the sensors, reading the sensors with the location information in it, and then you know, putting, we tested a lot of automobile and uh, with a lot of sensor data in it. So uh, generating uh, you know, the infinity of uh, data because of the, you know, this is a sensor generation. Um, but uh, then an the analysis of those data is going to mean a lot of things. So what I wanted to you know, do first was uh, you know, when the weather information was uh, coming from the government, but uh, if uh, each of the driver, when the rain stopped, then uh, moving the wiper. So that wiper motion is going to be collected through the internet uh, for the all, the all the moving cars, which is going to be a 10 billion automobiles on the earth. And then they you know the scan, I mean sensors is within the automobile uh, more than 100. So 100 sensors scanning the earth and with the location information and time information collected and then that's, that means a lot. Especially it's going to be a precise rain data uh, than the anything. So uh, that's, that's basically what I wanted to do. And uh, then you know, but, uh, this was very much, I mean, we have a, you know, our police friends, <laughs> police department friends, but they were very much, uh, uh, you know, worried about, oh, this, or oh, then uh, you can understand the speed on the street, and that information was uh, generated by the public, I mean, people. Then, you know, what, what, what kind of a conflict with the government data and the personal data? You know, that was uh, already, already a big discussion. And uh, then uh, they were kindly, this, in, put in, into, I mean, coming into our research group and they're working together. So uh, that's nice. And uh, of course, the uh, weather uh, authority, they are afraid of it. And uh, finally, they started to utilize that kind of concept. And uh, so anyway, so uh, at first, there is a kind of a policy conflict and the discussion in there. But anyway, so the uh, this is uh, one of the testing I did uh, in uh, Nagoya City, but when the earthquake happened, and the deadline after, you know, the, the more than 10 years after, then uh, so it's going to be uh, in, in, uh, implemented into the older automobile and the car navigation system, and the deadline. But uh, the fortunate to work on the testing in the university was uh, uh, we were working with uh, all the automobile companies and the government sectors, police department, and the, then everybody working together for this testing. Therefore, the format was standardized. So the data format was standardized that time already. And then, therefore, the, when the earthquake happened, then the one of the company, actually Honda company, in my son, uh, with the uh, immediate decision, and the, they disclosed the, all the data, 
subtracting of the three to when the, uh, after the earthquake and the moon. Therefore, it is a kind of a proof that the street is okay to pass. Therefore, when after the earthquake, when the, you want to uh, you know, transfer the, some of the uh, products to the suffered area, then uh, uh, they, they knew that the, which bridge was broken, which bridge was not broken by that data. And immediately, the, this is the idea of Japan. Uh, it's a consortium of the world uh, previously described. And then they decided to merge all the data, not only from Honda, but also from a Toyota and the other pioneer. And those data, those data format was uh, standard. They merged everything so that more accurate data was created immediately, which was used for the various purposes after the earthquake. Okay. So we are pretty confident that the, not only the government data, but also the privacy, private data, personal data collected, uh, is going to be, uh, you know, it's worthwhile to be standardized and the then emerged. And the, with, of course, uh, with a uh, uh, kind of a privacy concern. Uh, uh, then uh, also, uh, another thing is that, uh, about the uh, example is uh, this is uh, uh, when the uh, nuclear power plant was uh, on an accident. And uh, then you know, the, I immediately had a call from uh, uh, vice minister of education who's in charge of the data of the radiation activities. And the interesting discussion with uh, Suzuki-san, uh, who was a vice minister on the education that time. And uh, then, you know, we have to disclose uh, all the uh, radiation activity data immediately. In the, but uh, then uh, the government server is not strong enough. Uh, so that was the immediate call. So, okay, I can help and I can call all the internet industries to support your data to be uh, distributed. And uh, then uh, they sent me a data. The first version of the data was a uh, handwriting part. And uh, what you have, uh, on a, of course, the printed numbers. And uh, so why do you send me a fax? And uh, please send me the data. And uh, then uh, the person who's sending me a data was uh, hesitated, obviously, because this is a government data. So uh, please don't change anything. And I said, of course, I don't change anything. And then finally sent me, they sent me um, Excel data. And then the Excel data I received was all the times, explanation, the location was on the Japanese characters. And this, no, 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 no. This data has to be disclosed to everybody. And especially the, the, the person in Japan who, who is not speaking Japanese, reading Japanese, they are afraid of this data. And so uh, then I asked the government, may I translate those times? And then they said, no. Uh, no, uh, that's, uh, you know, that's not the case. So I asked, the, I called the vice minister. And the, the same, same question, may I do that? And then he said, yes. Okay. He's a politician, and the, the first one is a government officer. Okay, so the, um, afterwards, Suzuki-san told me that uh, this is a politician's law to make a decision sometimes beyond the rules. So but that's if uh, necessary. But anyway, it's a, it's a, no, don't misunderstand his words. But, uh, anyway, so uh, this is a kind of a uh, role of uh, politician and the government also. But anyway, so uh, this data was uh, um, disclosed in many ways, including the personal collective data. But uh, then uh, a lot of uh, uh, experts from the world is going to utilize those data and doing the analysis. And uh, then uh, finally, uh, we are kind of uh, reaching to the, uh, you know, um, the, the 
the, the kind of a proper way of uh, uh, understanding those data. Data, yeah, of course, the radiation activity data can be interpreted in any way, and sometimes mis mistakes and uh, then accurate accuracy is uh, different and the diversity, but uh, including that information, then uh, those information share. So, again, the personal data and the government data and the, uh, then, uh, you know, the personal uh, community data and the other thing uh, is really important. Can you, can you help with the machine? This is it. This is a, a Twitter information after the 60 seconds after the earthquake. It's a, this is this is Japan and the, the, the traveling around the, all over the world. At least. We all know that the Twitter uh, was a kind of initial message transmission after the earthquake. And the, then uh, the various analysis about the, how the people move and the, then in the safety for, used for the safety information and that kind of thing was uh, analyzed uh, afterwards for preparing for the next disaster thing. So this is also uh, uh, the uh, various companies after the earthquake, uh, the Google, Twitter, and the NTT Docomo who's, uh, who had a kind of a mobile data, and uh, then they carefully um, uh, manipulated uh, to relate the privacy information, and uh, then they know then we have a kind of a programming contest, analyzing contest afterward, after a year. And then you know, we did have a very good result about the big data, which was on the TV program. And uh, so, uh, uh, but, but so one of the big data is uh, considered uh, the Twitter content uh, in these days. But, uh, anyway, so uh, those are the background uh, information I have experienced, uh, experienced about the. Um, the, the, this area of uh, uh, technology and the society. So uh, in it includes the various things. But the, as I said in the first part of the presentation, then uh, there is a, uh, the, the uh, new IT strategy of uh, this country is on the public uh, comments uh, three days ago, I think, or four days ago, maybe. And uh, then you know, all, all, only the title and subtitle, but uh, my, uh, my, 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 my students in the faculty uh, worked yesterday uh, for, for this purpose, uh, translating the other title. So uh, I can explain the, you know, what that, that means by one by one. Um, so, that, yeah, so for, for Japanese, you can read it. And the Jap entire Japanese text is on the, on the web. Um, so, um, well, the, the first part, philosophy part, is not basically uh, the, from the, came from the, uh, the minister side and prime minister side. And it's over the reading the prime minister's comments and the vision, also the, the minister in charge who's uh, uh, worked. Uh, they, they, they wanted to, sh the, you know, kind of uh, country move forward thing. But my feeling, I've been serving for this for 13 years, and uh, my feeling is that uh, kind of a second time in the Japan's history that uh, which has a very strong IT strategy. Uh, you know. So this is the first one after 10 years. So uh, because of this background. But anyway, so uh, uh, basically the purpose is, uh, you know, the the creation of the new uh, industries. There's, this is a basically uh, leading to the discussion about open data. So uh, open data is going to be the new, new creation of the new uh, industries and uh, then of the growth of the economy type of thing. And the second one is uh, health and uh, safety. So uh, this includes the uh, cyber security uh, and the uh, uh, health society, which is a very, very big issue in uh, this country, the elderly society, thing, right? and uh, uh, feel, feel safe and the safety 
and then, then you know, um, so uh, that's a comfortable. Is uh, basically they're looking at the people, and uh, then and also uh, focusing on uh, safety is uh, connecting to uh, the the disaster management because uh, we have a fresh memory about the disaster, and also that we are you know uh, anyway near future we're gonna have another one anyway and another. One. So the third one is a uh, uh, document. Um, IT is very, very behind. I mean, IT use is very behind. So uh, basically, the cloud first. Pushing onto cloud is the key, but the, the thing. Uh, so the, we've been discussing about a lot of uh, way to describe it, but the, the thing. So uh, the, the government, I, original, well, actually, I don't know how, how much I can say, but the, originally, I was the, you know, the, the web service first. No excuse, 100%, that's what I wrote uh, then, of course, uh, modified. <laughs> and uh, so that anyone, anytime, anywhere uh, that the public received the public services. So uh, basically the same discussion. Okay. So uh, that's uh, things, and uh, then, then uh, so, so the, in order to do that, then, then uh, these are the fine things we have to do, we have to work, so five focal areas. So the f first one is uh, open and the big data. So open and big data for the new industries and the commercial use. So that, uh, we've been working on, a, uh, this is a little bit the tricky way of uh, uh, use of the word. Open data in the domain of, I started to open data discussion. I was chairing the open data committee, the government, before uh, you know, working on this one. Then they open data, then they know, yeah, what another one is there with me. And then we had a very, very uh, difficult situation. That the, they said the document is not data. No, 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 document is data. And then the, the, the picture is not data. No, no, the picture is data. You know, <laughs> starting with uh, the, that type of uh, the discussion. But uh, anyway, so uh, then uh, reaching to uh, open data by the government is uh, government data. Okay, so uh, then, you know, but uh, it, it took long to uh, reach into that point. But so now, open data is a uh, dumb. And uh, therefore, you know, I, I, as I mentioned, then in private data, oh, by the way, I watched your face and I forgot to mention one very important thing the radiation activities, government information sharing. You know, we worked, but uh, then the Microsoft helped. Very much, thank you very much. And uh, that's a very big uh, work by the Microsoft to support the government to, this, uh, you know, to share the government uh, data after the you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, private support. Uh, you did the volunteer professional support. Thank you. Uh, anyway, so uh, then uh, that's the government data. Now, the big, so, so the private data, private company's data, personal data, then we call it the big data. So that is a tricky word. But, uh, so big data means the private and the personal data, and the open data meaning the government. So uh, I really wanted to get uh, everybody to promise to work on that. And uh, uh, B is, uh, okay, ID is for every area including the, the, the agriculture and the medical area and the, no excuse, so covering everything. So that's a number B, the same. So, so uh, uh, C is not what, yeah, open innovation. Yeah, well, there, is a, there is a group of people who love to work with innovation. So uh, then the D is, uh, uh, Well, actually, the, the, yeah, that's, this is covering everywhere. Uh, and the, then the Japan is uh, moving for the kind of regional policy strength, putting the strengths on the uh, regional government. So uh, uh, this, you know, IT strategy is good for that uh, purpose as well. And uh, then the new media is uh, basically the after uh, TV digitalized, and uh, then you know, everything, and the uh, radio, TV, uh, telephone, internet, you know, they are kind of
kind of a comprise together. Therefore, uh, the, what's going to be the issue? And then you know, we're going to work on that. Okay. So that's number five. So um, then, uh, you know, uh, so basically, that's, uh, uh, those are the outline for the thing. And then, then, uh, then uh, those are the those are the areas to work, and these are the these are the area for uh, the basic thing for uh, for basic things. This is the answer for basic things to do those things to achieve those things. So uh, this is a kind of a baseline uh, horizontal uh, target, and the, the, those are five points. It's a kind of a, you know a part of whichever you know, the, this is ninety degree different. So the human resource development and education, and then the infrastructure uh, advanced, and the cyber security, and the then R and D. Those are the, you know, we have to do anyway. Uh, type of thing. So, uh, and also the this is one of the interesting area. Um, that uh, uh, there is a pretty long uh, uh, description in the. Uh, I talked about this, and uh, then you know, so uh, we really need, uh, you know, during the discussion, then uh, we had a um, point that uh, we don't have a nice, good uh, index to measure to to measure the uh, IT infrastructure, and the environment, and the both here. So, so that's uh, what we have uh, reached. Therefore, we need to work on a. Uh, Kind of creating the global index. That the, what you know, there is a index for IT in the each of the countries from ITU and the other OECD uh, World Economic Forum. So we analyze all those index, how they are made, and uh, then they have been made. And uh, so none of them satisfy to our goals. Right? So uh, probably. It's a really nice that the, you know, so we're gonna work together. This is an academic role for the creating the new uh, index. You know, what's gonna be the index applying, can be applied to the kind of a regional or globally. And so that, uh, you know, kind of uh, we can set up the goal to, uh, for the, you know, some certain kind of a metric, that's uh, really important. So. Uh, uh, you know, one of the description was that we're going to propose we're going to work on a creating the global index for the uh, future of the IT world globally, uh, working with the uh, global entity. So a global index discussion was there. So anyway, so that's on the URL. Uh, the slide is on the URL, so uh, uh, you can you can retrieve. I mean, that was uh, put on the web. But uh, one hour ago. Um, and uh, uh, finally, then uh, other discussions for the IT strategy thing, when we are talking about, is a kind of a, um, the title used to be a cyber Japan. And uh, then uh, uh, after the, you know, the uh, discussion, then uh, they changed, and the minister level changed the title. But anyway, so the, um, the cyber, Meaning the, the global space, and the, the you know, we I always want wanted to understand that, that there is a global space created by the internet, and that there is a nation uh, boundary, and uh, we have to work on. But uh, as I mentioned, that there is a location information, time information, and the location information obviously is a mapping to the geographical location, which is uh, basically the boundary of the nation and the region. And uh, then they know that the cyberspace is a uh, uh, time global, seamlessly connected. That's a data space, okay? So the discussion is how we can, as I mentioned in the earlier part of my presentation, this is now identical, working together. Our society is uh, cyber and Real. So the location and global. So uh, connected space, we do have a connected space, but we do 
have a nation boundary. So the question is uh, how we can work on that. So the cybersecurity things, and uh, also the, the culture thing, and the how we can work together, or how we can you know, kind of protect the nation, you know, that type of thing is a, a matter of the discussion because of that. So that understanding was kind of pretty much lacked on the kind of government side of the discussion because the government is responsible for the nation. So that's uh, basically what I tried to put on the discussion. So uh, I'm going to stop right now. And uh, thank you very much for listening. So uh, uh, I hope the, my, my students will continue working on the translation. Thank you.